Hello and welcome to this week's Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. My name is Michael and with me as always is Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? Hello, Michael. And no, you totally didn't scare me when you started the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if I didn't have the other half of my screen as the Bandai website secretly trying to pre-order San Diego Comic-Con figures <laughs> during the show, I totally would have saw you get scared, but I guess I'll have to wait till I edit the show. <laughs> if you clean that up and edit that out, I'll be pretty cool with that. What's going that on is- today? <laughs> Yeah, so let's, let's uh, since we've probably already lost anyone who <laughs> clicks on this video, um, let's right. move on to some news. Uh, <laughs> then we'll get into our weekly purchases. If you hear some clicking, I do apologize. I'm not going to risk missing out on some figure arts figures for the whopping 30 people that are going to watch the show. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Um, so first thing I want to talk about, and this is this was a huge thing that I'm so sad that we record on Thursdays because this would have been great to have as part of our news. Hasbro announced their HasLab crowdfunded 26.3 inch Sentinel figure. <laughs> and like this thing had a goal of 600 or no, 6,000 6, backers to get made. In less than 24 hours, they demolished that goal and had already moved on to their first of, I think, three or four um, reach goals. Um, so let's start with the Sentinel. The Sentinel himself is fully articulated. He has an LED light in his head and chest. Um, it's going to require AAA batteries, which is not included, which for the price point, excuse you, Hasbro. <laughs> um, he has an 18-inch tentacle accessory. He comes with a 6-inch Bastion figure with alternate Sentinel Prime head. A Marvel Insider Points Redemption Code worth 70,000 points. Um... However, I don't even know what Marvel Insider is, so... I was going to ask. So. That sounds cool, but I, I'm assuming it has something to do with the Marvel Comics app. Um, and like I said, over the weekend, they managed to reach not only that first goal, but within just like two and a half days, they made it through three goals. So Tier 1 was the Marvel Legends Master Mold Alternative Head Accessory. So for... So those of you who don't know what Master Mold is, which if you're watching the show, I'd be shocked because, I mean, that's kind of a popular thing in the X-Men, but I digress. Uh, Master Mold is essentially the they create a robot that creates other robots. So he w- would just sit in a chair and he'd poop out Sentinels out of his chest. Or at least in, in the show, that's what he did. Comics, it may have been a little fancier, but 90s cartoons, they were like, what are we going to do? Have the robots just conveyor belt out of his chest. So that makes sense. Um, uh, tier two was a battle damaged head and hand accessory, which those are, they're really cool. Like the eyes tore up his jaws, like missing chunk of it. The, the hand is missing like fingers and like the blaster like is like cracked. Part of um, and then the third unlock is the Marvel legends, six inch female prime Sentinel figure. Um, the current numbers before recording the show were 10,680 backers. Uh, you currently have till 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on, I believe it's August, for whatever reason I didn't put the uh, number or the actual date, but it's uh, I believe it's August 27th. I'd have to double check, though. Um, he is $349.99 and will ship next year, 2021, in August. Um, assuming nothing bad happens to delay it. Mm-hmm. Um, but this thing, like, oh man, I went from six to midnight real quick when i saw this <laughs> it is pretty awesome especially being like a fan of you know like you mentioned the 90s x-men who wasn't mm-hmm. you know but jesus it's so cool oh man and i'm not gonna lie i i've already pre-ordered it oh oh yeah i remember <laughs> the news coming out about this in our in our little chat there i was like oh god yeah 50, I... but i mean this is this but I mean, it's it's detailed. over two feet tall. Like this is the yeah. closest to an in scale sentinel we'll probably ever get. Yeah. Um. So like, I was just like, I can't pass it up. As much as I, there's people out there who are talking about army building this thing, especially with like the multiple heads and stuff. And I'm like, it must be nice, <laughs> right? <laughs> it must be real nice to uh, have that kind of money. That's really awesome. Really awesome. Yeah, they. Uh, 
they they did a great job with this figure, and I'm super excited to uh, to see it in person. And, and I hope they do more like reach ghouls on it because realistically, it it keeps climbing in backers. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna. Oh, is, is this just based purely off of backers, or is this based off of like how much money they raise? So it's doing according to, from what I saw on their website, it is number of backers. It does not have a dollar sign next to it. Okay, I was so just it's the number of people. Like, I, which, yeah. granted, I mean, ten thousand plus people paying three hundred fifty dollars each. Yeah, that's, that's insane, and that's assuming he doesn't count the backers who are buying multiples as separate orders because it doesn't do that who knows how much money they're making off this thing like yeah but i mean for something this size and the like detailing on it i imagine it's going to cost them a lot to manufacture it anyways but i mean we, oh yeah 100 percent. it's, it's going to be a decent margin but <laughs> yeah I I, i'm the one you actually get looks as good as this one because this looks awesome. oh dude right like that's good that's that's my biggest concern is Marvel Legends has a very bad habit of like, look at this incredible figure and these shots and <laughs> and these prototypes. And then you get it in hand and it Not half the like. time doesn't look anything like it's like that. It's like when you get a Big Mac versus what you saw in the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it still tastes good, right? It still tastes good. But at the end of the day, you're like, why are my pickles like on the top of the burger? <laughs> Like not even the burger itself, but like on top of the bun, like on top of yeah, the whole it's on thing. the box that it comes in. <laughs> yeah, like it just it just makes you wonder. Um, and for three hundred fifty bucks, if this thing doesn't look immaculate when it comes out, I'm gonna be very upset. But the good yeah. news is, something like this, it's gonna have an aftermarket. So if it turns out mediocre and you're not happy with it, you can at the very least make your money back. If not, probably make a little bit extra and get something to make yourself happy again, since you'll be very sad. <laughs> Speaking of really sad, yeah. geez, <laughs> next one. Uh. <laughs> All right. So uh, next up, speaking of figure arts, um, on top of you know the nightmare I'm having, we've got the SH Monster Arts figure announced. Uh, the giant all-out monsters attack 2001 Godzilla Heat Ray version, um, which I'm assuming means that they're coming out with a normal version or already have. And I just don't recall seeing it. Uh, but essentially the difference between him and normal version of it is he has highlights painted blue throughout his mouth and spine to make it look like he's charging up for his atomic breath. Um, this Godzilla is available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for $94.99 and will ship out December 2020. Now, you know I love me some Godzilla. I know. I was like, what, are, what does this do for you, Mike? Well, probably so. I am very conflicted because I already technically have this Godzilla in, in NECA huh. form. Um, if right. you watch the first episode, I believe is when I it was part of my weekly purchases, and from there, I don't really need two. But this thing's articulation like annihilates NECA. Like it, it, it takes NECA in the back and puts it down like old Yeller. Um, <laughs> but. It's under bucks, and I had collected too many lines to justify spending hundred dollars. However, I may eventually have to because, um, not to I don't have this in the news story, but it's been confirmed by NECA that coming this fall they are losing the Godzilla license. So gonna I'm going to be very it. devastated very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay Basically. because a few weeks ago they already shat all over my dreams by telling me that. They have zero intentions to do any characters except for Godzilla on the line, which could have been because they already knew they were losing the license. So who knows? Makes sense. Um, but I'm a little bit heartbroken because I, I really, really love. Whoa, we got it. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> My order just went through. Uh, oh, God. You scared right. me again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Can you please? PayPal popped up and I hit continue and then it gave me my order number and I, I just I couldn't contain myself after <laughs> an hour and 53 minutes of fighting with Bandai premium Bandai's website. Uh, I finally awesome. got my figure arts DBZ figures ordered. So that's, <laughs> that's the most exciting news you're going to get in this show. Right. Uh, no, please stay. Uh, but yeah, so this, this thing's really cool. I, I just for hundred bucks, like back when the monster arts figures were closer to like 55, I collected a couple of them. Like I had the current day Godzilla and really liked it, but they just kept climbing higher and higher in price. And I'm like, I just, I can't like, 
bad enough they did that with the DBZ figures, but I feel like Godzilla is just like his shelf presence isn't strong enough. Like it's hard to <laughs> set up a cool display with Godzilla versus you can get like a, a very simple diorama for, or even a really cool tournament diorama that's coming out in yeah, August. Like we talked about last week. <laughs> right. Um, and set up your DBZ figures. Godzilla, you essentially have to find a way to make like a tiny town to ha- oh, have okay. him like duking it out. And they don't even really have any of the, of his like other monsters. It's so unless you're putting some Godzilla on Godzilla action on your shelf, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just kind of rough. Like I know they have some of the other characters, but not many. Like they had this hmm. giant ass King Ghidorah that I was like, oh, I want it. But then I saw dope. the price tag and how big it was. I'm like, oh, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, man. This, this looks cool. I mean, I don't have much, you know, hands on experience, if you will, with these. But just from the look alone, I do like this like a little bit more than the NECA. Um, like you mentioned, the articulation, the way his head looked kind of like his neck has like all those joints in it. Does the NECA oh, have yeah. that? Uh, so NECA, yes and no. Oh, okay. So NECA does have joints in its, which I actually just put a review out for anyone who's curious. Yeah. Um, but he does have joints in his, like, right below his jawline for his neck. Mm-hmm. And then also where it connects to, like, his collarbone like area. His... Okay. So you do get, like, some articulation, but not as much as you do with the figure arts. The biggest difference with the figure arts is the limbs and the tail. Because yeah, the NECA one, the arms move great legs mm-hmm. kind of stiff and kind of bulky so they're they don't move very well the tail has like two points of articulation it's real yeah. like real weak but still a pretty figure and for 20 bucks or 25 bucks yeah that's what the, the i'm not gonna complain are. for for what you get for sure um, but for 100 bucks that tail better like wrap around godzilla's neck and choke him while he <laughs> you know oh god um, but <laughs> go to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, <laughs> next up, uh, Super Seven. <laughs> you almost oh, got. Man. You almost went there. <laughs> it's okay because I, I've already, I've got these videos set as not for children to begin with. Okay. But good. when we get to to Turtle Watch, it's gonna, it's gonna fucking. Oh god. We're gonna You're go gonna a hard R right? this week. So anything I say up till this is just gonna be wiped clean. <laughs> um, I keep trying to think of a funny way to censor us, but I don't want to rip off other people because like there's some places that like do like a dolphin noise. At one oh, point, yeah. I was gonna do a Godzilla noise, but Godzilla roars for so goddamn loud that I it, it would it would just be the whole go show. over whatever the next person said anyway. So right, it wasn't <laughs> worth it. Um, anyway, Super Seven they announced their Wave Three of the three and three quarter TMNT reaction figures. The wave consists of Space Cadet Raph. Baxter Stockman, Undercover Donatello, April O'Neil, Splinter, and Krang with his walker. Uh, these are available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for $17.99 each and are set to release later this month, oddly. Like, they just, like, I literally just got announced and, like, shown off and stuff from my knowledge, at least from my, when my research. And they was like, oh, yeah, they're coming out in July. And it's like, it's, it's already July. <laughs> We're like halfway through July, so you've got two weeks to release these. Um, but hey, if they can pull it off, more power to them. Yeah. Uh, so, cool. looking at these, I love I love the carding of them. I don't like the figures. I don't like the old school like. They're so got bad. two points of articulation. You've got <laughs> arms, and then like their waist kind of like bends and have to make their legs look like they're moving. <laughs> like that that to me is subpar. But then like looking at them on card. Those cards are beautiful. Like I almost want to get undercover Donnie just because the the back. Right. I I mean, if you're leaving these solely on card, and maybe that's the idea with Super Seven because of like the articulation so bad. Um, I don't even think these will stand up on their own. Maybe Krang will, but I don't know. They just look so bad to me. But like on card, it it is cool. Like to display them that way. The art is really cool. I 100% agree. That's a big problem I have with these figures. When you have what looks like the legs like kind of tied together into just that like flat motion, yeah, making them stand unless you have figure stands for them, which I'm sure they probably sell separately or someone does. Oh, of course. Um, it's it's like well, you can't even display them on your shelves unless you're just hanging them on your wall or something in, on card. It kind of seems pointless. I mean, um, I just feel for the price. Again, I'm not trying to like shit on these at all. I'm sure people mm-hmm. out here really enjoy like super sevens line but for the price the size it just doesn't make sense to me it almost looks like a happy meal toy 
<laughs> like my opinion. Like it just looks like something. Like if you look at April O'Neil, tell me you wouldn't get that. Like in a Happy Meal. Like that's uh, you're, just what you're it, right. Like it's uh, just weird. Wait, you know, jokes on you. I'm pretty sure the high up Happy Meal it's always look cool. <laughs> <laughs> it probably have more articulation. No, it's not yeah. even so much the articulation. It's just the designs just look very simple. They're, they're just, very, very old school. Like, yeah, I mean, there is a, a very niche market for that. There's people who love to the nostalgia of it, of having those figures that look like they came from the 70s and 80s. And that's great. I'm yeah. glad that there's someone out there who's making figures for those people because they deserve to have something they love to yeah. collect and display. For me personally, I... It's 2020. I have too much to to buy <laughs> to justify spent. going and reaching back and buying things that I bought 20 years ago <laughs> um, or were Although, bought for me. I can't get, you know. Well, I guess we'll talk about that later. Um, so maybe these might be the <laughs> yeah, I end save up buying. that for the segment where we completely <laughs> bury a company. Um, right. <laughs> but let's move on. So in the Transformer mashup line that Hasbro is doing, we still haven't seen the Ninja Turtle ones, which is kind of crazy Weird. and baffling to me. However, this week we got the Top Gun Cross Transformer mashup Maverick figure. He comes with a volleyball and his helmet, which is like the only thing that's painted on this figure from what I can tell as far as like bright colors, has like a little Maverick like written across it and some cool designs. Uh, and also comes with a very, very tiny itty bitty Maverick on a motorcycle figurine. Uh, really cool idea. Probably going to get lost the second someone opens the package, though. Like, that thing looks smaller than the Baby Yoda figure that Hasbro gave us. <laughs> and uh, this guy is up for pre-order. Ironically, did not sell out, like, the 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 Gigawatt Back to the Future one. Um, however, instead of being on Dumpster Fire and Walmart, they put it on Hasbro Plus this time. It's $49.99, and it's going to ship out in October. So if you are interested, if you're a big Top Gun fan, Here's your chance. Hasbro Plus has it up. Go go get you some. Uh, personally, I, I had spent so many years since I've seen Top Gun. Aside from knowing it's about fighter planes and Tom Cruise, I and don't volleyball. remember most of the movie. Yeah, sure, apparently volleyball. volleyball. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm assuming that was just an excuse to get Tom Cruise shirtless. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, this, it, this is that legit, like, awesome. I mean, we've, we're have we fans of Transformers just because of, like, you know, we've seen in cartoons and syndication and whatnot. But I yeah. do feel like this is, like, an awesome crossover for someone that's, like, I mean, our buddy Jason, who's, like, you know, up there a little bit older than us. And not in, like, <laughs> not in that, that sense, but, like, Top Gun, you know, great, like, 80s film. And then you have like transformers which was you know big in 80s as well i mean like, I it, like 100%, a perfect the, the crossover partnership makes total sense yeah, agree. perfect crossover perfect crossover that's and cool. it's super easy because they have like 500 yeah. different jet characters so right. you can just slap a maverick logo on that bitch exactly paint it gray and there you go um so it was it was you know easy easy like just lobbed a, over a home awesome, plate yeah. for him um, oh, you could have made a volleyball reference right there. Uh, damn, that's been, I don't I don't know enough about volleyball. I guess you set they, it up to spike. There you go. There you go. That works. <laughs> Bring um, the sports to the show, man. I got sports you. ball, baby. <laughs> um, I, I do want to point out though. Recently, on the last episode of Family Fight Club, nobody cho- chose Tom Cruise as, from Top Gun as their action hero. That's Just true. Saying. Um, right no. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's move on to probably, in my opinion, one of the most exciting things on the list. I probably should save this last, but you know, why not just you know blow the load early? So Lego announced the classic NES set. This thing has two thousand six hundred and forty-six pieces. You get to make an NES, a controller, the Super Mario Bros. game cartridge. And an old 80s style TV with antenna that has a crank on the side and it actually makes the screen for the gameplay move. I didn't realize that until I did research for the show. Like when we just shared the thing in mm-hmm. our group chat, I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I went and started looking into it for to, to set everything up today. And I'm like, the screen moves? <laughs> like that just, that just took awesome. this thing from like here to just yeah. off the charts. <laughs> and then I saw the price tag. I'm like, and we're back down here. Bring it, bring it down um, a little bit. <laughs> so this bad boy, as awesome as it is, is going to be exclusive to Lego stores and Lego.com, and it's going to cost you 
it's arriving it's going to be available in august of 2020 so not gonna lie if i had 230 dollars to spend and i didn't just spend it on figure arts figures <laughs> i 1000 percent would get this this is the coolest thing i think i'm ever seeing come from lego and i didn't even like i hadn't my like parents nes growing up so yeah. i played the games and stuff like that but i was a 90 90s kid so i didn't really have that when it came out but just seeing this and, and the, the screen moves and even the antenna you can adjust the antenna to like act like you're attempting to get better okay. reception <laughs> and even the knobs on the front like move and, and everything like there's they have a video on their website of that you can watch and it just shows you all the features. And I was just blown away. Like they, they knocked it out of the park. They did. Let me bring a little bit of negativity to this conversation though, because $230 dude, you could legit just buy a switch for $230 and then play all the NES games you want with Nintendo online. I'm just saying, I understand it's really cool to be honest with you. But when I saw the price, I was like, ah, so, so I'm going to give you a counter argument. I guarantee if you bought this instead, you'd have more fun and spend more time building this thing than you would playing old <laughs> NES games on your Switch. Just saying. Like, nothing gets old yeah, classic that's games. that's probably true. That's probably true. The, I mean, the, you're, you're the, gonna play them for with either with some friends that come over, or you're gonna off. play them for like ten minutes and be like, "Yeah, yeah. this is this was the shit when I was a kid," <laughs> and then you're gonna go back to Call of Duty or Legend of Zelda or whatever you decide to play. That's um, fair. That's fair. Man, I was not prepared for that table to turn. Uh, I'm usually <laughs> no, the, I think the it one honestly who's like, really let me cool. shit right on this thing's face. And you're just like, nope, let me pull the plug on you. <laughs> it, it really is cool. I'm not like, you know, hating on anything. I'm just surprised that when I initially saw it, I, I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's, you know, 2000 pieces. I thought like maybe $100. And then, you know, yeah. So maybe I figured that, that 150 just because yeah. I saw a picture of it to scale with an actual NES and it was smaller. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. So it's not as big as an actual NES. So theoretically, it shouldn't Ew. be like too crazy. Yeah. And even then at 200 or 2000, 2,600 pieces, I've seen other sets with that that still are like in the 150 range. Mm -hmm. But my guess is uh, Mario wanted that dough. So, oh, yeah, so yeah. they had to pay a little extra to get this one made. But that sense. does open the door to get Smash Bros. set. <laughs> a GameCube? Is that what you're thinking? Oh, dude. That would be dope. A GameCube, and you open it, like, you you split it open, and it's just the Smash Bros. Arena, and you've got all the that figures fighting. I'm oh, man. On that. We just gave, like, Lego a billion-dollar <laughs> idea. Why do we do that? I'm sold on uh, that. <laughs> and that one's going to be, like, $300, because it comes with minifigures. <laughs> right. It costs the price of a PlayStation 5. <laughs> no. but, it, but it's okay because this will come out and we'll still not have a price on the ps5 <laughs> right. um, next we're gonna get into a real really weird story that i never expected to talk about on the show so fisher price has announced three special edition sets to their little people toy line that's right the toy line is called little people <laughs> first we have <laughs> he-man um, the set includes He-Man, Beast-Man, Skeletor, and Man-at-Arms. This one's going to be shipping out in September 2020. It's available for pre-order in Big Bad Toy Store for $24.99. Um, next, we have The Office, um, which is a very strange Fisher-Price set. Um, this one includes Michael Scott, Jim, Pam, and Dwight. Uh, also available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. It's $22.99 and ships out in August of 2020. And then the final set is Lord of the Rings, which includes Arwen, Frodo, Gandalf, Legolas, uh, Gimli, and Aragon. This set is available for pre-order as well, and it's $34.99, but ships in September of 2020. So I just want to start with a, a, a story, because I knew this line existed beforehand. Like because people? Yeah, so because a few years ago, I asked my mom, like, what should I get my nephew for Christmas? Like, what's, what is he like currently into? And she's like, oh, go go get him some little people. And I'm like, Mom, <laughs> I realize we live in Ohio, but I'm kind of against human trafficking. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and she had to explain to me that, oh, no, Fisher Price is just either real oblivious or just doesn't give a shit. And they have a line called little people. 
Um, I mean, it's straightforward, but I feel like that's just a little, a little on the oh, nose. Yeah, on the little nose. All right. <laughs> no. This is just funny that this is like kind of like a surprise to you when you saw little people. Yeah, I just, I it never right. like. I, I'm sorry, I don't collect ch- like children's toys. I collect uh, like man child toys. Um, so. I wasn't on the up and up of what lines Fisher Price was putting out. As far as I knew, Fisher, Fisher Price was just like, like, like three wheeling like bike things and basketball like, hoop, like the basketball hoops, like and bar. they were all red, white, and yellow. Yeah, um, <laughs> a little bit blue here and there. Um, right. So it never hit me that they'd have just a line of these itty bitty little people. Um, Overall, so, though, this is just a strange like pairing to me. Like, <laughs> hey, nah, adult man. collectors, you know what you've always wanted? A uh, children's toy with the faces of your favorite characters. You're missing the point, man. You're missing the point. Now, so if these these properties don't really do much, too much for me. The Office one is like a maybe, uh, mm-hmm. but it you know surprise, Mike. Um, I'm having a kid in a few yeah. few months here, um, so. <laughs> I gotta be like, here's about, your little Dwight. Here's right. your little Dwight. Here's the thing, all right? So you know, my my kid gets of age where he's interested in toys, and he looks in you know his dad's basement. It's like, can I play with those? No, I gotta teach you the ways of collecting, right? You buy these toys and you don't play with them. So if they had a turtle <laughs> set and little people, I would totally buy this and just be like, this is your first like, this is your first collection. Put this on your shelf in your room. This is an awesome idea, and it's oh also kind of messed up at the same time because it's it's growing a new generation of you know adult toy oh, buyers. Yeah, man, it's it's like it's like Hasbro <laughs> and Mattel and like all and and I don't even know what other toy companies are just like. Hey, Fisher Price, we we need you to we need to get them hooked early. Yeah, it is. Give, give them a taste <laughs> of the stuff. It really is, but I love I love the idea, and honestly, like I'm I'm legit might just tell my wife like hey we should probably get this this set the office set i mean i'm not gonna lie i i sent the you link for the, the pre-order no, oh no i didn't pre-order these. i sent the <laughs> link to the pre-order though of the lord of the rings set to my former co-worker because he's obsessed mm-hmm. with lord of the rings his response is why the fuck would you send this to me the day before payday you bastard oh god he was like yes give me that <laughs> yeah oh, he's, no. gonna, he's gonna fucking order it and granted he does have children and they are yeah. in that age range well one of them is a newborn but the other one's in that <laughs> age range but I'm 99% sure that this could be for him and it's not going to be a, it's going to be a, this is daddy's toy. You can't touch this. <laughs> That's a little cruel right there. <laughs> I mean, you're going to make people. your child put their to- own toys on their shelf. So you gotta teach them the ways, teach them the ways, teach them the ways. But like, I feel like at that age, they need to play with their toys. Like well, you just have to teach oh, them not to play with daddy's toys. Like these are no, your toys. These are you daddy's toys. This, Mike. You get two sets. This is your play. Oh, and then God. this is your own card. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point out, you sound like my my biological father. Like that's what he did when I was growing up. When the um, <laughs> Force, oh, what was that? The Star Wars set that came out in the nineties. It was um, the uh, Into the Force or something like that. They had like oh, that's when they like okay. stopped being all like squared off and they looked like He Man figures and they were all puffed chest. I feel like we talked about this already at some point. Because um, remember we talked about how Luke is jacked even though he's a, a fucking teenager and like scrawny. And you'd look I feel like it up this is a like, conversation oh I've had where we talk a lot. It, so it was I a couple remember. episodes ago, so I, oh, okay. I, I'm 99 percent sure we talked about this already. But <laughs> so what he would do is he originally wanted to buy them and did not open them or not let me open them. So my mother told him right. if he wants us to do that, that he had to buy a second one every time. So I had one to play with. So oh, man. my parents essentially probably spent went from spending like a couple hundred dollars on toys to like, like yeah. every couple of months to like several hundred because he had to buy a mint on card one every time. <laughs> <laughs> um jokes on him because those are useless and uh yeah i was about to say now. i bet those um, uh i bet that paid off right yeah those <laughs> i mean granted i guarantee he probably doesn't have them anymore yeah um but yeah they are worth absolutely nothing so jokes on him um the, the last thing on, i want to say is oh, real quick he man has been appeared has appeared on every episode so far so we it really has trip. like somehow, every episode there's something he-man related or masters of the universe related so it, it really is which is weird because well. i'm not like a he-man mark or anything so it's not like i'm like yeah i gotta get that he-man in there like i i could give two shits if he-man continued to line 
Like they look really cool, but it's just not my thing. Uh, right. But he, it, you, yeah, that's an interesting fact to point out. It's been every on every episode. episode. That's <laughs> like, can, oh man, you can move on. I just I thought that that's was interesting trippy. To point out. <laughs> um. So so Kotobukiya has announced a DC cross frame girl Hiyukuma Shimada Wonder Woman. Um. So I just want to start with the fact that this thing looks badass as hell. Yeah. Um, but she comes with three face plates. A sword, a shield, the lasso of truth, various armor parts, shield effect parts, and a base. Uh, she's currently available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for fifty nine ninety nine, and will ship out in February of twenty twenty one. Um, this thing, like, I saw it, and I'm like, what? What the hell is this? Like, this looks awesome. <laughs> like, when did DC like start like coming out with good, like, cool looking figures that you know look like they might actually articulate? This looks really really cool and you know I, well i guess i didn't tell the story but so i just pre-ordered you know the ellie the good good small company and this is like a line and i'm like can i please have some of these so <laughs> in february 2021 i could probably throw a pre-order in on there and pay for that in february, yeah man big right? bad toy store won't charge you until february so <laughs> as long as uh, you haven't bought in your child like three thousand little people <laughs> um you should be good by then this is so cool though it's so cool it and it almost makes me kind of want a wonder woman like anime i don't know if that dude right that's that was my first thought exists. is like are they coming off an anime like is this something i missed the news on but i yeah. couldn't find anything i think it's just i think there was an artist that just, it might even be like a comic artist that did this and they went with it, and the only complaint I have is like the so, like spot for the sword and the lasso on her hips. Like it looks a little like bulky and off putting. Uh, but saying. if you pose her right, you're not going to notice that anyway. It's kind of like uh, Casey Jones' weird elbows. If you pose them just right, you ain't going to notice how ugly those things are. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is um, awesome. But yeah, like I'm not going to lie. If they continue this line and do other characters, I, I might get pulled in but right now if just wonder woman i can resist <laughs> um so let's move on this so we went we already talked about one line that made, was made me feel weird let's talk about another company that has a sufficiently made me feel <laughs> uncomfortable today um so funko announced four breast cancer awareness pops all our pink versions of their normal versions um there's batman superman wonder woman and harley quinn uh, now, I do want to disclose Funko has donated $25,000 to breast cancer research. Um, however, everything I see says that they're not donating any of the profits from these these pop finals. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that because they come out in October. But it, just because you donate a large chunk of cash doesn't mean you get to then cash in on yeah. that brand. Like, I feel like that's just... That's just a we're little like we're scummy. It's money up front, but we're gonna make a lot more on the back end. Yeah, we're like this way we can we don't have to give you all of the profit. We'll give you like a fourth, like a half of what we're actually gonna make. Right. Um, and I just feel like that's kind of like don't get me wrong. I already feel like Funko is kind of a scummy like company. Like if there's a drug dealer of companies, that's Funko. <laughs> like they they get you. They'll find that one property and they'll they'll give you a taste and then you just like you can't stop and then they'll ruin your life because you're trying to get exclusives and nonsense and then you have to spend an entire car payment to get them or more. <laughs> and uh yeah, so I'm already not a huge like fan of Funko, <laughs> but the fact that they're going to be potentially profiting off of breast cancer just cuz they donate some money, like yeah. that's that's some Vince McMahon level scummy in my book. Well, the uh, the weird is the weird thing is it's almost like they're just saying, "Hey, we donated twenty five thousand, so we get to use the branding and everything to sell these." So, in a sense, they're just saying, I, "We pay twenty five thousand for the." Breast yeah, breast I mean it, it, it's like, borderline. Just, like I don't want the I don't really don't want to go down this road, but I'm going yeah. to. It's borderline like a white guy saying, "I'm not racist because I have a black friend." <laughs> it's like, like hey, I'm not, not a piece I... of shit because <laughs> I did this one nice thing. Like, yeah. no, that's, that's not how that works. Like, you don't get to, to just have that one good <laughs> that's thing a good point. and good then point. still be a piece of shit. Like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> says the white guy who is on a podcast with his one black friend. Um, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. I have multiple black friends. Don't let them tell you they're not my friends. 
they're at least friends on my Facebook. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I don't know them. Go ahead. As if you don't, I know you don't have a Facebook, so you don't see all the other ones. <laughs> um, there's at least three of them. <laughs> Now you're uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Man, really regret not asking Jason to do this show. Um, oh, moving on from breast cancer awareness and me feeling awkward about racism, uh, Storm Collectibles showed off their San Diego Comic Con exclusive 112 scale Mortal Kombat figure. Um, and oh, and and Raiden. I forgot about Raiden because I literally only found one picture of him. Um, so you've got Scorpion and Raiden. Uh, Scorpion comes with uh, interchangeable mask head and skull head. The skull head is on fire, uh, may I add, which looks really badass. Four interchangeable hands, a chain, uh, three flame effects, and Raiden came comes with six pairs of hands. One pair of hands that has lightning bolts on them, uh, lightning bolt effects, and then a Raiden fatality effects. You get like the exploding, like not really exploding, but cut in half, exploding like blood head. Um, no price point was listed on anything I could find. They're going to go up on bluefinbrands.com from July 22nd to July 26th for pre order. Uh, not gonna lie, if I was a Mortal Kombat fan, like, I'm, I'm, okay, I enjoy the games, but like a legit fan, like I collect this, this series. Mm-hmm. This Scorpion would be a must-have. Raiden's cool, but unfortunately, the only picture they have is the one of him and his accessories. They don't have really any, like, posing shots. Yeah. Um, but this Scorpion, I mean, like, him doing the uppercut with the flames and the flaming skull head. And, like, the chain is like an actual chain and not just a chintzy piece of plastic like some other <laughs> um, companies use. Like, the, the, this figure's legit. What, what got me is the, the up kick. With his like, right. like, like, pose up like that. I'm like, that's that's pretty sweet. I like that. You're like, man, I wish I could split like that. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Touche. I mean... <laughs> Touche. But then it's just mean that we're going to have to challenge you to do this on camera. That's going to be for the Patreon one day. Oh, for the Patreon <laughs> that doesn't exist because there's only a third of you that watch the show. <laughs> um, so. Another thing, now this thing I don't have any pictures for, so I, I apologize okay. to look at our faces the entire time. There's not going to be any cutaways. Um, starting today, so Friday, if you're watching it when this video goes up, um, Walmart's Collector Shop, which makes me laugh. I can't even say that that <laughs> phrase without laughing. Um, is offering a bunch of San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figures um, for properties such as Spawn, Spider-Man, Rick and Morty, and more. Um, I couldn't find anything actually listed yet. It just has a countdown clock, which uh, was let's see if it was 15, I think was set for like, God, I want to say maybe 3 a.m. My time. So 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, it was like Jeez. 15 hours after one o'clock or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, doesn't really matter because Walmart's so not going to get it anyway. <laughs> uh, my my best guess is this is going to be that when you go to like for instance I went to New York Comic Con not quite the same as San Diego but still it's like the second biggest con, um, and they have all sorts of vendors who have like different random San Diego exclusives that you can get and they aren't necessarily like from like the vendor isn't the company that you're dealing with it's not like when you go up to NECA or Mezco or Funko and you get their item it's actually like normal vendors who have other items for sale but they also have these san diego like san diego or new york comic con exclusives you can buy at the time Mm -hmm. um but they're usually just little like tiny like trinkets and figurines and keychains they're never like actual like full like figures maybe even some statues here and there are mixed in that's my guess what this is since they don't have that outlet because those vendors aren't going to have access to sell them to people since there is no con is that they're like what can we do instead of getting it to those vendors still and letting them sell it online so we can support small business? Let's give it to the shittiest retailer in the game. Walmart. <laughs> I mean, you, to be fair, maybe Walmart's paying the, uh, like the, those vendors to like possibly get some money out of this. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you can see the ridiculous <laughs> face I'm giving you because that is the most ridiculous thing I've heard all day. And today, was a disappointing turtle day it which is. reminds me jamar what time is it it's turtle watch 2020 
Oh, okay. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for us, it's Thursday. Oh, for you, man. it's probably Friday or later. Um, but so this Thursday, the TMNT 90s movie repacks went up on NECA's website because they decided to go full Thanos with it and like, we'll do it ourselves. Um, well, it didn't go much better. Instantly sold out. Like, I I didn't even I completely forgot about this because I was so focused on the cartoon turtles, even though I only wanted these uh, repacks for the new bandanas and to have a second set so I can have one set in trench coats and one set in not so I have to take them on and off when I pose them. Um, yes, I'm the selfish piece of shit. Hate me. Um, <laughs> but everything I read, it was just a shit show, the same as it was mm-hmm. with Walmart. Sold out within a matter of seconds. Um, people. Couldn't even get them in their carts. Uh, one thing I did notice is so I woke up an hour and a half roughly after they went up for sale. Actually, longer than that, it was almost two hours after they went up for sale. And I went and checked their site just for shits and giggles. So when I first checked the site, everything was sold out. Then when I forgot that I left that page open on my phone and went and checked my phone like half hour later, the international figures went back up for sale. So again, if you're international, NECA is just lobbing them to you like <laughs> like set and spike, baby. Um, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We got that one in there, um, which I mean, I, it's great for international people because usually they get fucked like every other yeah. company fucks anyone over that's international and it, it sucks because most of these companies get their toys made from across the pond um <laughs> but at the same time most of these companies are also american based so it's kind of like a it sucks for fun. them sucks for us kind of situation because realistically if it being american based you should take care of your the american customers first theoretically and then still have some for international customers so they aren't fucked but you shouldn't like it almost feels like they have more stock going for international than for like, the yeah. American customers, either that or just no one internationally gives a shit enough about these figures to try to get a bot to buy them all. That's the only <laughs> thing I think of is that it's not that they have more stock for international. It's literally just there's not as many international buyers buying them. And there's no one internationally who's just like, bot go buy this for me at 7 a.m or whatever time weird time it'd be there probably god it'd probably be like 12 it, at midnight there i don't even want to do the math yeah so it's, it's a lot of work <laughs> um but that was not the only disappointing no, not. thing yeah, that happened today so later in the day target put up which they announced this ahead of time so there was no excuses for no one to be prepared however it let the people with the bots kind of also be prepared so you're fucked either way um so metalhead and the casey jones if slash like battle damage foot soldier two pack went up they placed the placeholder for metalhead went up at two placeholder for casey had already been up for months uh about 215 ish i think is when they actually went live and after refreshing yeah. for 15 minutes you could actually there was a button that said ship it you're like oh here um, we go here yeah, I'm go. like, yeah, I'm actually going to not have to worry about finding these in store. And I hit ship, nothing hit ship, mm-hmm. nothing. And it just aired out for everybody. Like, no, what's I the error, we... Mike? What was the oh, error man. message? <laughs> Unable to add this item to your cart. Please try again. Yeah. What? So what fuck? do we do? We try it again <laughs> and for try. an hour until finally <laughs> it converted over and said that they were out of stock, um, <laughs> which means, again, bots probably got them all. Um, and so before I get into NECA's response, which came hours later, like I, I'm not gonna lie, I was shocked when they actually responded um to what happened, and I figured it'd just be another four days of silence until they're like, it's San Diego guys, let's do it. Um but they ah <laughs> oh, jeez. They this is such an easy problem to fix. So if you go on your banking website and you log in. Before you get to the password stage, the first thing it wants you to do is click a little button that says I'm not a robot or better yet, choose all of the images that have the street sign in it. Right. And you have to like click them all. I mean, that shit usually f- makes it so I can't even get into my own account, let alone a robot. <laughs> so why are these not being put in place to stop these bots? 
Like I can understand Target and Walmart don't give a shit about any of us. They just care about the green. Yeah. Getting those so orders. they might not, may not put it on their site, but NECA has zero excuse. That's a hundred percent on them. Um, and their response to all of our misery, we feel your pain and are equally frustrated that inventory is lasting mere seconds. The amount allocated was increased significantly over previous releases like R and B, which I don't know what the fuck that is. Rocksteady um, and Bebop. Oh, I see. I was thinking the movie line since they don't put the animated ones on their website. Uh, so I didn't put okay. that together. Um, especially because Rocksteady and Bebop got re-released like four times in right, Target stores. Which, to me, it was like the salt in the wound, though. Of saying like, oh, we allocate, we increase significantly more than the Rocksteady and Bebop. It's like I saw those things on shelves so many times, and you're telling me you increased it? Like, go fuck yourself. Um, but <laughs> we are fighting for a better solution and more options for consumer. Please be patient. Praying hands emoji. Fuck you. <laughs> you do not understand our frustration. Like, I'm sorry. You you literally sit around handing out free toys to creators to review to get people hyped when you don't need it because your shit's so hyped that this happens every right. time right but you can't find a better way to release your figures i get that their hands are tied in a lot of situations playmates goes in lube free regularly because <laughs> their line sucks and nobody wants it um and they aren't going to give up the master toy line and nickelodeon's not going to force them um and but at the end of the day, like you got to take some sort of stand. Cause they also tried to use the excuse of the, you know, they also have these contracts with the retailers. Why is it these contract negotiations? You clearly just like took a nap and missed the boat on how to properly release them. Like there's no way that you can tell me not a single person involved in these decisions has never tried to order something from target or walmart.com. <laughs> or try to find something that's supposed to be in store on either of those websites. Right. It is a, a nightmare to find sham fucking poo <laughs> on their website and order it to pick up in store. And you're going to tell me that you thought your super exclusive, super, super like highly anticipated action figures weren't going to be hot mess. Like <laughs> you, I realize foresight is 2020, but come on now, this is ridiculous. And <laughs> We're going to get into the next subject because this one is one we wanted to talk about last week, but we kind of got so overwhelmed with how long the show was and kind of forgot about it. Randy's a dick. Like, I agree. He like on Twitter. Like they need to they need to give whoever has the Instagram the Twitter back because the Instagram gives you item by item, time, date, links, everything. Every time Randy gives you the bare minimum, he's like, here's a link and it's 10 minutes late. Um, and then when people get pissy, he has the nerve to respond with snarky sarcasm. Like, I get you're getting your money anyway, but fuck you. We are trying to give you your money. We're loyal to this line. If we weren't loyal to this line, then the scalpers wouldn't use bots to buy them all because they wouldn't have, be able to make any money off them. Right. So you have the nerve to, like, talk down to us. Like, that's just, that's a shit. And, like, for instance... Someone brought up or made a joke because when they were talking about, you know, that no longer I have the Godzilla license and he was snarky about that too, saying the U.S. consumers could be ignored uh, in this foreseeable future. And it's like, oh, man, I didn't realize that uh, they were using your website. Um, <laughs> or your Twitter respond like, oh, man. Live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, NECA's this losing licenses left and right. To which then Randy responded to the guy saying and followers bye bye and blocked him. <laughs> like what <laughs> what <laughs> how are, like i can understand like i don't know if this guy this was this guy's first offense or if he's just a regular troll or something but i don't right. give a That's shit is if, unless he like threatens your family or something if he's just making fun of the way you handle things you need you need to have a thicker skin bro you're a company you're not you're not like a mom and pop shop right it, and, it, and i know i know this pissed you off too so i'm kind of curious yeah. to see what you got to say because I know I've monopolized me, most of this. <laughs> no, I mean, my, my major point was, I guess I haven't really had much. It only comes around when, like, new Turtle stuff come out, where mm -hmm. I'm, like, you know, following the account. But it's almost as if his, like, 
half ass tweeting is unnecessary to the point like just don't even have a Twitter account. Exactly. Like it would almost be better because when everything was going down for the ordering and we're trying to figure out, first of all, I I could be wrong, but I thought that he was gonna tweet out the link and let everyone know it was live at two o'clock. Oh, I he, didn't see he, that's what he said in a previous tweet is okay. when we have the link, we will tweet it. However, the only person who fucking tweeted it was Pixel Dan. Right. So that was my first thing. You didn't tweet the link. But then when all the shit was going crazy, I was looking through like the mentions and stuff, not a single response yeah. at all. Like anything. Hey guys, I I know you this statement that he put out could have been out as immediately. But this here was just some bullshit to just be like, "Uh, oh, I know you guys are frustrated, but we're trying." It's not it's just communication. Where's the communication at? You have enough time to like argue with fans and make smart snarky comments, but like we wanted the communication right then. Do I? Is it all sold out? Why am I still refreshing? Like, let me know. Yeah, like there I would rather no communication. One hundred percent agree. I would rather you just tell me right then there. Sorry, guys, we fucked up. It yeah, sold out again. It. Rather than waste an hour of my life refreshing, thinking I have a chance. Like, right. That's that's the biggest slap in the face. Is that he wants to communicate on his own terms. He wants to right. communicate when he can be an asshole to people, or when he can announce something big. But when it comes to like being transparent with us, he suddenly disappears. And in my head, part of me wants to like think that, oh, I'm just imagining like the computer's on fire and everyone's panicking over at NECA. But no, he's probably sitting on his fucking couch watching reruns of Judge Judy or something while we're all like losing <laughs> our fucking minds. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, first of all, I'm sure he's either a like working from home or like very limited, you know, office time or whatnot. But like. It, that just seems like crazy to me. And then when I see this tweet, and this was later in the day, this was much later from yeah, like hours two o'clock. Yeah. So it it was just like, God, dude, are you kidding me? And it it makes me fearful because like I mean, it's it's just shit that like they're making great things that I want to give them money for. I like love their art design and stuff. Like I'm super excited for the coming out of the shells tour you know <laughs> figures but like now am i gonna get that because it's not even just the order it's just the fact that like you say these are gonna be a target on the 16th we go to target on the 16th target's like nah man we don't have these where is the miscommunication at where is that yeah. where is that like that doesn't make sense so so i have a couple of things i want to add to this so as far as the san diego comic con exclusives mm -hmm. i think that's gonna go a little more smoothly because i i Grant, this picture is completely out of context because there was no logos, there was no nothing, but someone posted mm -hmm. a picture of a palette, like a full wow. on, like four foot by four foot palette mm -hmm. of the Mutation Tour four packs. You sure? I assume it's at Target because I can't Alpha? imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't imagine that it was at NECA's warehouse. I have to assume it was at a yeah. Target. So if Target's getting pallets of these, Okay, that could be the men's to the bridge that you need, but it's not yeah. going to be like forgiven. Yeah, um, no. Nah. But yeah, like he, I'm sorry if you have time to be a dick to people in your tweets, then you have time to tell us in advance they're gone. Like, especially like Casey Jones and and Raf, he told us to keep refreshing and then disappeared yeah. for four fucking days. Yeah, it's just it's awful. And exactly. I realize yeah. with this episode alone, I'll probably if this ever goes anywhere, we ever get enough subscribers to like be, for me to be able to review things early or anything like that. NECA will never send me a fucking thing. I'm fine <laughs> with that because I would rather bury a company than lick their asshole like other some other creators just because they give me free shit. Right. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like. It's 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 ridiculous. I as much as I love for them to be like, hey, we've got this cool stuff. Just, uh, you know, talk us up. I, as much as I'd love that, I, I I'd rather go without and just have to risk trying to find them in the wild than put over a company that doesn't deserve it. Yeah, like heard it's same thing, like if times. Mezco if Mezco came to me and was like, hey, man, so we want you to review this figure, but we promised everyone was going to be out like next month and it's actually gonna be like next year. So if you could just try to put us over and, you know, put that delicately, I'd be like, go fuck yourself. And then I tell yeah. everybody, Hey, they're lying to you again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just getting ridiculous. Like it's, it's week after week and we have, we have like six more weeks of this and 
They're claiming, <laughs> oh, we're going to do something completely different for Tucker and Razor. Yeah, you said that about this. And, yeah. oh, we're going to have Super Shredder on our website. Well, I guess I'm not getting him either. <laughs> um, so, like, I'm just, I'm just kind of over it. Like, I, I'm still going to go to Target. I'm still going to look for these because I still yeah, want at least Metalhead and Leatherhead and Slash. If I miss yeah. out on Casey in April, eh, not a big deal. You always get those but, Super 7 ones, you know. Yeah. I, <laughs> the worst part about me pre-ordering those those fucking figures after seeing them in box like actual shots of them mm-hmm. is raf is fucking sold out everywhere <laughs> the rest of wave one 100 available but raf yeah. is sold out and i'm like god damn it <laughs> um but yeah so that's gonna be a fun experience to have three out of four turtles and have to hunt down the other one <laughs> um but it's just it's just kind of tiring and I, i've at least got we've got the main turtles we both have shredder and krang and rockstein bebop so we have the main cast if if we miss out it's not the end of the world we have a complete-esque collection in my opinion I don't yeah know about i'm you. not disappointed i do want metalhead but you know i mean i'd love works. to have them i'm not spending if, like a hundred bucks for it that's for yeah sure. but if it comes down to it and i can't find them in store i won't get like that's one of the few times i won't justify ebay prices because metalhead alone people are already impatient and trying to pay 200 bucks for him and i'm like you're stupid this thing hasn't even fully been distributed to targets like it's just hitting new york so far and you're willing to pay 200 dollars for this thing that is insane it's crazy that's almost 10 times retail but you know what they have it and they don't have to go out and look for it at all (laughs) i mean don't get me wrong if i had fuck you money and i was that rich yeah, yeah i'd be like i don't care the funny thing here's, here's an extra grand that. to get it to me tomorrow yeah like, yeah, like <laughs> but at that point like if you have that much money you might as well just go and lick randy's asshole and get right it for you're free. probably because i mean that so seems to be the trend it. is if you've got the the you know got the funds wow. and you, you can rub up bills with the right people you can get those figures real easy yeah. um and i don't want people to think i'm butthurt like i mean i am upset i am but I am. <laughs> it's but at it's the end okay. of the day like I collect other lines. There was a point where I the I was literally done with the, the NECA turtles. I had sold the movie turtles, had only had Rocksteady Bebop, uh Shredder, Krang, and the cartoon turtles. And that was all I was gonna be done. That was it. I wasn't gonna buy any of the new ones. I was like, I have other lines I need to focus on. These are too much of a headache to bother with. Um and then like a week after I sold the movie turtles. GameStop put them up for for order in a four pack again for half of what I sold them for. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll buy them again." I'll get it again. <laughs> and then I was, and then they announced the the Raph and Casey, and I'm like, "Oh damn it, got me. I'm hooked. Get me back." So like, note. by no means am I going to be like one of those crybabies on Twitter. It's like, I'm not buying a game anymore. No, I 100. percent If I have the opportunity, I will give them my money. Problem is, I don't know if I have the opportunity because it's <laughs> right. like it almost feels like COVID has brought out more scalpers because I, I don't remember yeah. like i don't remember having these kind of issues with previous releases like i mean we had issues but nothing like this extensive um which was off oh, that's right they had another tweet that i was just like fuck you and i actually i actually oh yeah fucking spoke up talk. on twitter i was i was fed up at that point randy got snarky some some idiot was like i love how people have selective memories when it comes to the gamestop release and forget about oh, I, the, I know. the canceled pre-orders and <laughs> the the shitty customer service I'm like first off everyone has shitty customer service look at randy um second <laughs> off the only issues gamestop had were online orders and if you ha- were unlucky enough to have employees who were bad at their job and put the figures out instead of putting them away like they should have for the pre-orders um however every single person i know who pre-ordered in store got their turtles and i hate gamestop gamestop could burn for an eternity and a half and I wouldn't bet an eye. <laughs> like I worked there for years. They're a shitty company. They treat their employees like shit. They treat their customers like shit. I, I game stuff go away. And right now. <laughs> the extent I would feel would be bad for my friends who still work there. Um, right. But literally, you could pre-order them two months in advance. And if you were too lazy to go in store and your pre-order online got canceled, because essentially, ironically, this is still NECA's fault because GameStop canceled those pre-orders. Because NECA didn't fulfill all the pre-orders right away, so they didn't think they were getting more. And then <laughs> NECA sent them more, which is why then they went up for order online only again. So that's not on GameStop. NECA can try to bury GameStop all they want, 
but that was on NECA because NECA didn't send them the amount that they ordered and that they had <laughs> had pre-ordered. So fuck you, Randy. Get your facts straight. Um, and then he also said something about like, oh, they only wanted to order four figures a year. And I'm like, oh, so you 100% just confirmed the reason why you're with Walmart isn't because games that they want to play ball or because there was issues is 100% because you wanted more money. Like, right. fuck you in a half. <laughs> um, yeah. Last piece of uh, Turtle Watch news I want to talk about while we bury Randy. Um, oh, Pixel yeah. Dan did tweet out that after Comic-Con is over, he has an interview set up with Randy. He claims that he's going to ask the hard hitting questions of what has happened with this mess. Sure. Do I believe that he's going to ask them in the manner they need to be asked? Probably not. I believe he's going to ask the questions, but it's going to be in the most polite and like kind of tiptoey way possible. Nothing that's pixel Dan enjoy his videos. He's a great dude, but he doesn't seem like, you know, he doesn't seem like what we're doing. We're yeah. like, so Randy, what the fuck happened? <laughs> like, okay. like literally I, at this point, all Randy really needs to do is to quit running his mouth and apologize. Say yeah. we fucked up take responsibility instead of everything is everyone else's fault. And then you're going to shit on people who are tweeting at you angrily because you fucked up. Like take the responsibility, take the loss, quit trying to, to, to pretend like it's not NECA's fault. Um, I hope, I hope pixel Dan, you know, grabs him by the balls is like, you need to explain yourself (laughs) to these people because they deserve an explanation for the shit show of a company you run. Um, or work for. I don't know if he actually runs it, um, but we'll see. We'll I'm, see. I'm I'll watch right. the interview if nothing else, just to see how the questions asked and to see how it's answered. I f- have a hundred percent a feeling that even if he were to be like, "You fucked up," apologize and explain yourself. Randy's just gonna have a cookie cutter answer that doesn't give us anything significant. You'd be like, and um, you're blocked. <laughs> yeah, um, he's it's like, so and you're not getting any more review toys, Mister yeah. Pixel Dan. Um, but yeah. that's going to wrap it up for uh, Turtle Watch. Um, let's move on to weekly purchases because I feel like on a short news week like this, it shouldn't be an hour long episode. Um, but we had to be. spend a little time to kind of discuss the the shit show that is NECA. Um, so, do you have anything this week? Yeah. So first off, I went ahead and placed my order. Like I said earlier, I pre-ordered Ellie and the Nindoroids. I feel bad saying that. Um, and then I also ordered myself um, oh, a Midoriya. And I got me a cool little Atreus uh, little plush that goes with my Kratos plush. But yeah, I'll see those in like six months. Whenever the hell I guess they decide oh to ship God, that. Oh my God, so dramatic. <laughs> so for those of you but, who don't know this, this is Jamar's first time ordering a big bad toy store. So he has an well, experience. They'll wait a week for it to ship. And then if you want the free first. shipping, wait another two weeks for it to get there. <laughs> not first. Most of the times my orders were pre-orders. I got my Revel Tech uh, Ninja Turtles from there. Um, Didn't your wife order those for you? Yeah, those were for Christmas. But those are like a pre-order. They weren't on sale yet. So it just shipped right oh wait I so didn't... you knew about them well yeah i mean i had to tell her because when i worked with her she came to me she's like hey hey Gresser, do you do you think jamar will like these because i'm thinking about oh. ordering for him <laughs> why well, I, I mentioned like hey these are really cool so it was probably more of like are these legit sort of thing i don't know she doesn't trust my opinion <laughs> so <laughs> i have defense, those you won't buy your own things so <laughs> no wonder well i did buy. well technically she had to buy these too um i'm banging the mic so i did pick up some uh some cool things because i was really itching like i don't have anything uh my hero related and i really love that show so um at, at best buy surprisingly enough uh they have mcfarlane my hero characters there. Oh yeah, I've seen and those. I was like, oh, so I picked up myself. I mean, Doria here. It's it's okay. It's not like the greatest. I mean, it's, um, it's not like the the figmas, but it's still like yeah, pretty good, especially for the price points. Aren't they only like twenty five bucks or something like that? Yeah, this one. Well, so here's the weird thing: they were on sale for eleven ninety nine. Oh, so really good deal on that. And then you can't get Midora if you don't get All Might. So, yeah <laughs> texas smash but yeah so that's um my my purchase for this week i was pretty excited to have so so guys. which of uh the green guy did you get because i've seen two versions one that's got like a, a normal face and one that's got like a super angry face 
Oh, well, it actually has two faces in there. So you get two oh, faces. Oh, okay. So they just package them weird. Okay. Yeah. You get two faces and you get to two hands. So you either get fist or open hand. Um, I will say, I mean, I'm not reviewing these or anything, um, but to take off the face is impossible because it's not really a face swap. It's a head swap, but the hair detaches. Oh, and yeah, because that's what the figure so must do is you have to like pull the hair off and then you have to pull the head in half, put the new face oh, on, my God. and put the head on. It's so hard to pull off his hair because of the joint like socket thing that they had on there. So, yeah. But other than that, I mean, for eleven ninety nine, these are pretty awesome. I mean, compared to like sixty dollars or something like that. And then I'll yeah. get my Nindoroid uh, Midora in the mail whenever I guess they decide to get off their ass and just put it in a box and ship it because it's been four days. Whatever. I mean, it's not <laughs> like there's still a pandemic going on and they're probably short staffed. I mean, I'm sorry, Amazon much? No, I'm joking. They're, they're I don't want to hear it. I pay for Prime, <laughs> and half my shit gets here like five days later. <laughs> but yeah, that's my, my purchases for this week. So I was really, really, really hoping to be like, hey, I found Metalhead this morning at Target. But yeah. Oh, uh, dude, I was hoping that I'd go to Target, and I just wouldn't say anything. And then I'd be like, my weekly purchase. <laughs> um, however, the NECA gods said, fuck you. You don't put it over <laughs> on your show, so you do get nothing. And I'm like, fair. Um, <laughs> so instead, my weekly purchases are, are nothing too crazy. Um, first, so a few weeks ago, I got the Batman White Knight figure um, early somehow. And then I was at Walmart the other day, and I just happened to stop in the toy section, and I'm like, looking at first i was looking for wrestling figures and they had jack shits and then i was like walking out the aisle and i saw that like the mcfarland section just like like pegs were full which is very mm-hmm. rare for my walmart because usually it's like one lonely green lantern and the blue batman that supposedly is the chase variant but it's completely worthless and i don't know anyone who actually wants it um but they had the white knight joker oh cool. uh, currently i have the jack head on it just because i don't know at least in the first book he's more primarily got his normal human face on than his joker face and i just thought it looked really cool um and then today because i was so depressed that i didn't <laughs> find metalhead i decided to find something else that was metal um so i've been re-watching anime lately i actually went back and f- finally finished dragon ball super because uh, mm-hmm. i made it halfway through the turn of power and then i moved and didn't have access to tsunami, tsunami anymore so I couldn't watch it anymore. And then I signed up for the 14 day free trial of Funimation to watch it. Hey, um, that's how I do my, <laughs> Go ahead. but I, I finished that the other night and then I was like, Hmm, I wonder, and Funimation didn't have it, but Hulu has the dubbed version of Gundam wing. Ooh. And Oh buddy. I love me some Gundam wing. Gundam. Okay. So I got <laughs> the Gundam death scythe. Dude, that's cool. And like he's pretty badass. These like these are just the little Bandai figures. They're not, not like anything like crazy like Figmas or anything like that. But like they've got some pretty good articulation. The only complaint I have is I might have to like put some putty in his hands or something because his his scythe uh, doesn't like stay in place. Like you'll watch it kind of just. Of course, I'm not gonna do it now, but like like that. Uh, it just oh, flops. I see what you mean. Yeah, it doesn't like stay really in have one any position grip. unless you like get it just right. So that's going to be a pain in the ass while trying to pose him. Um, but I already had um, Wing Zero, so I was like, I wasn't really going to get like huge in this line. I just got Wing Zero because I was like, it's really cool. But then I saw Death Scythe. I'm like, oh, man, that looks pretty boss. Um, so I picked him up. He was only like 24 bucks. So I was like, fuck it. Uh, right. I need something to make me feel good since uh, Metal Head made me feel bad. Um, <laughs> Real bad. And then, of course, as everyone who may have made it to this point in the show knows, I successfully, after two hours, pre-ordered the <laughs> figure arts, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, Ultra Instinct Goku, Android 17 and 18, and the seven pack of stands. So those will be here in August, hopefully. Awesome. And you'll get to see them all over again in my weekly purchases. But that's going to wrap it up for the show. Um Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter if you enjoy fo- photo photography, photo photography, toy photography. Man, it's been a long Let's show. Photos. Been long. Um, <laughs> also, we're going to be maybe running some sort of contest or giveaway in the upcoming weeks. Oh. Stay tuned. That's a big maybe. Just kind of depends on how things go. Um, Give it but away Jamar, a Twitter account. What, <laughs> Neck a Twitter account. 
<laughs> what kind of wonderful things do you have for our fans? <laughs> well, um, we have a episode because this goes live on Friday. I have a really cool episode with um uh, of Why Are You a Gamer, my podcast that is dedicated to figuring out why people play video games. And I have Asa Green River on, and it's actually a really, really fun episode. All of them are really great. But also, if you're a fan of PlayStation, Ghost of Tsushima is coming out. And I'm looking to next week have, or next Monday, the Monday after next, have a review. Why are you a reviewer? Um, I don't know if that's the title. That's working title. I like that, it won't though. be a spoiler. It won't that's be a spoiler of- cast because we're not going to probably finish the story. But it'll be like, hey, you know what we think of the game so that's it i dig it so just to be clear that's gonna be not the monday directly after this episode goes up but right the, the second monday the monday after you next. got it you got it i would give you a date but i don't have a calendar in front of me i have one right here on my computer that's gonna be july the 27th there it is you got it on paper <laughs> <laughs> um so Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure you can also go and check us out on Media Junkie. Uh, there's two podcasts over me and Jamar are on the Fanboy Fight Club, where essentially a couple of fanboys argue about uh, different properties, depending on the topic. Two fanboys judge. Sometimes we have guest judges. There's always a bitch of the week. Go check it out. It's sometimes fun. Um, and then I am on the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast over at Media Junkie as well, where me, Jason, and Kevin kind of just shoot the shit on whatever happened in wrestling that week. Um, if you want to support the show and help me pay for my metalhead figure, that will probably end up being $3 million because I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to find one in stores at this point after being so confident for so long, uh, NECA has broke me. Please go to tpublic.com. I have tons of shirts. If you just search modern toy fair, you'll find our logo. Uh, if you click on it, there's a blue link. This is Vault of personality comics takes you to my store i've got a bunch of different really cool masks that have like different things like power ranger masks um transformers optimus prime spider-man the miles morales spider-man who's a really big seller um i also have you've got the the donnie of the gold tooth that you see there with jamar um i personally i have my uh slimer mask and also have us uh, the the sting wrestling mask um but there's also a ton of really cool designs such as this one, the Flash and Arrow Ooh. crossover that I did for um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So go check that out. If you don't buy anything, that's great. If you do, thank you so much. Um, as always, like and subscribe. I believe I mentioned that as well already. If not, do it anyway. Hit the little bell if you want to see when our videos go up. We have Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and obviously Modern Toy Fair news on Fridays. Uh, hopefully we'll see your faces next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Thank you, everybody. Bye.